Hey, welcome to this series on how to do titles and credits using Adobe Photoshop, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Premiere. We're also going to use Google Docs today. So we're looking at doing opening credits as well as closing credits and see what it should look like and how we set this up and the, the sort of just basic techniques we're going to get done. Now, to begin with, um, why do we do these? Well, uh, usually people that work on a film want to see their name, they get some credit for it. Um, also, they're people who've worked hard on it, they're produced or they put money into it. And so opening credits are a uh, relatively new phenomenon in film. Time was that there was a few brief credits and now there's a lot of stuff you'll see at the beginning of a film, including who worked on it and who the stars are and what the name is and the production companies and all these things. So what I did is I searched uh, the internet to find out more about opening credits and I found a list. And I copied this list and I pasted it to a Google Doc and I embellished on it. So I've got opening credits, which is one set of stuff, and the opening credits fade in and out. And then I sort of took the same content and structured it differently so that some of it was in all caps. And uh, and this is going to scroll at the end. So they look a little bit different in each case. You could really use the same list for each if you want to. Not a big deal. And uh, again, this part's going to fade in and out per line. And this part's going to scroll at the end. So what that looks like is in Premiere, we're going to see the opening credits like this. And then we get the film. And then we have the closing credits, which scrolls like this. And so uh, that's what we're after. And so the process that I did is, like I showed you a second ago, I have this document in, uh, in Google. And I did this because it's the easiest and fastest place to write this up. If I do this in Premiere or Photoshop, it's actually a lot more cumbersome to work in those environments. So we've got these, uh, these names and these laid out. And you want to think what order, what order this should go in. And again, I didn't know. So I searched it out and I found it on some website. And there's templates out, this for, out there for this. So I got this one. And the next thing I did is I opened this in, uh, in Photoshop. And my opening credits is stacked up. Everything's all in one place. You know, if I turn on the bottom layer, you can see it better. So I've got this background copy which I'll dump some color into. So this is, uh, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to get this where it should be. So I'm trying to make it more visible. So I got this, and I'm on that layer there. Oops, I got the wrong bucket tool. That's the issue. So, um, so having done that, I'm just going to go ahead and use this and you should be able to see all these layers in them. They should be aligned, okay? So some of them look like they're not aligned, but there are multiple lines on some of these things. And uh, they're all stacked up this way. And we don't actually want to bring that background color because we can do that in After Effects. The end credits are taller. Let's look at this again. So we've just got a huge list of everything in one row. And this one, we made the document fit the size of all the text, which in this case was copied and pasted into place and given some effects. So um, the effects are there to make sure it shows up no matter what the background is. And so then we brought that into After Effects and we made a couple of sequences by uh, drag and drop these into place. And when you drag and drop a Photoshop file in there and choose to make it a composition, then you've got a composition to work with that you can apply the movement and in this case, all the fade ins and fade out, fade outs. And the goal was to figure out how do we get this done uh, to the best of our ability with the least amount of time. So we want to do multiple things at once. That's what I'll show you to do in just a minute. At the end, we import this into Premiere and wrap it up, and we're done. So stick around, and we got the other videos just after this one. Enjoy. <laughs> 